welcome back to my channel and first things first before I get started into this what's in my suitcase video there's a sneak peek for you um, I just want to say that I know that what I look like right now is the way I looked in the start of my previous video to this that's because <laughs> I'm filming these videos on the same day I haven't yet filmed that first one so technically this is past Sophie talking to me so I don't know. Um, but by the time you guys get to see this, I will be on the slopes in Italy, which is really, really exciting. And the other thing I want to say before I start this is, um, I am wearing today this All My Gloss lipstick that I got in my, not last video, but the video before that. Um, yeah, I got it in the Glamour Spring Edit Edition and I am absolutely in love with it. Um, it doesn't last six hours, that's not true, um, but I fecking love the colour. I think it's gorgeous and I just, I like to like just put it on before work because it gives me a little bit more colour in my lips and I, I just think it's a nice staple and I just really love it. So um, guys, it's by Rimmel and it's called Oh My Gloss. Go and get one. It's in the colour... Snog. Yeah, I remember now. <laughs> Snog. Okay, so um, back to the actual content of this video. I am going skiing in... It is Wednesday today, so I'm going in three days. But by the time you see this... I will be in Italy already, so sorry to confuse you, but that's where I will be. So I wanted to do a little what's in my suitcase video um, and uh, show you what I like to pack when I go skiing. I've only ever been skiing once before this, um, but I do like to go to the dry slopes quite a bit, so hopefully I'm not too out of practice when I get there. Alright, so let's get started. I made a little list because I'm a list person and also because there's stuff that I can't pack until the very day when I'm going so like um, my straighteners I can't pack until the day I go, my toothbrush I can't pack, my makeup, that kind of thing um, so not everything is in my suitcase right now but I will read you the bits that I am missing and then you know what will be in my suitcase okay so I've got my, my suitcase here in front of me um, which I don't think you can see but I'm just going to kind of show you what's in my suitcase so my first thing I have is my trusty white Converse. They're not very white anymore, I should probably buy some new ones, but um, I love these. These are just for... Okay, I really need to buy some new batteries for this camera because my last one just died even though it told me it was fully charged. Um, so I was talking about my white Converse, apparently. Excuse me! Thank you! Um, yeah, so the other, other shoes that I'm going to take with me are my boots because it's not very smart snow um, but I'm going to wear them to the airport so obviously they are not packed. The next thing in my suitcase is just casual clothes um, so I'm taking my big I Heart NY jumper which I absolutely adore. I got it when I was in New York and I got it at the um, the 9-11 memorial site um, and so I just wear it all the time because it's one of those big fluffy comfy things that I can just bum around in the chalet in. I've got a couple of t-shirts, I've got um, a Soul Cow one, it's a really old t-shirt now, I've had this a few years, um, and the other one I'm taking with me is my favourite t-shirt at the minute, I'm not entirely sure why, I just really like the print and also it's got Jurassic Park on the front of it, what else do you need to know about it? Um, so that's just my casual clothes and I've got a pair of jeans that I've taken with me, I'm only going to take one pair of jeans because I've got loads of pyjamas that I can just wear, um, and I've got underlayers, like leggings, like that kind of bit, so I don't really need that. The next thing in my suitcase is pyjamas. Um, so I've got a pair of, I've got, all of my pyjamas are fleecy because I'm guessing it's going to be cold. In fact, uh, the current temperature at the ski resort is 7 degrees. So, and right now here it is... 10 degrees here. It's quite warm here actually, um, but <laughs> that's because I'm not used to it, but we'll be surrounded by snow so it will be cold. So I've got um, a pair of fleecy black t-shirt, like long sleeve t-shirts. I've got a pink one which goes with um, some grey checkered ones which are in the wash and um, I've got these ones which have got like little snowflakes on them. I just thought they were really like appropriate. <laughs> So I'm going to take those too. Um, so that's my pyjamas. And then I've got loads of like base layer bits. So I won't show you all of them. I'll show you the ones I got from 
millets because um, they match and they're just so cute. Look at these. Like, they're black and they've got like little fuchsia um, seams on them, which is quite nice. I know that you won't be able to see them when I <laughs> when I wear my ski jacket over the top, um, but I just thought they were adorable and they come with matching black leggings as well. And I've got a uh, white jumper, like a probably tailor tag off, but I'm sorry. Um, that's coming with me too. I got this from Trespass. In the sale, it was eight pound, reduced from twenty quid. So I should probably take the tags off. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is coming with me too. Um, because I just think that on the days where it's a little bit colder, I can just chuck one over the top. Well, and on the days where it's a bit warmer, I don't have to wear one. I've also got a towel, but it's buried right underneath all of my stuff. It's just a towel, you guys. It's really not that exciting. Um, so I probably won't show you that. So let's pull this back in. I really shouldn't have packed it before I showed you <laughs> what was in it. Okay, the next thing I've got is salopettes. I have a black pair and a white pair. I'll show you the black pair. Because um, I also got these from Millets too. Um, they've got Alpine written on them, which I'm guessing is the make. And um, I should probably take tags off these too. Jeez, didn't think this one through, did I? I really like salopettes, they're so comfy. Um, and these ones have got little grips for your ski boots, as most salopettes should do. The, what, the other ones I have, the white pair, are, um, they're from Lidl, believe it or not. Um, and they're actually really comfy. I had to get them in like six sizes bigger than I actually am. But they go really well with my ski jacket. And I kind of wanted a white pair as well, just because then I've got black and white, and again these have got the same kind of thing and they've got zips on the side if I need to do anything with them. So, oh no, oh no! Stay. Right, the next thing I decided to take with me is a swimming costume. Hold your horses guys, I think our chalet is right next door to a swimming pool. So I've just got a black swimming costume. Um, I think it was from ASOS actually. It's just a really cute little like crop toppy kind of thing. Um, just for like if we just want a relaxing day, we don't have to go skiing all the time, um, then I have that option. Um, the next thing I am taking with me, put all this back in. <laughs> next thing I'm taking with me is ski socks. I have five pairs of ski socks. Um, and I'll show you the cute ones because it's cute. Look at those. They, these are like pink ones with grey love hats on them. The other side I've got grey ones with pink club on them. Um, I just thought these were really nice like tube socks and they'll keep my feet nice and warm. I've got regular socks as well but obviously I'm not going to be wearing regular socks on the ski slopes because that would be silly of me. Alright the next thing I've got are my gloves. Um, these are white. Uh, clearly I'm going with a very black and white theme. They've got little grey bits on them as well which match my ski jacket which I'll show you in a minute. Um, I also got these from Trespass. Aren't they cute? And they're really fluffy and comfy on the inside. Look at that. They're so warm. Um, so yeah, these are going in my suitcase because I'm not going to need them until we actually get on the slopes. Uh, the next thing buried underneath all of this crap is uh, my shower case thing. Um, I used to call it a shower case because it's got most of my shower stuff in it. Um, so it's got a little mirror inside of it. Um, and in the top I've just chucked some um, face sensitive sun cream because I was looking for it and I couldn't find it and I'd already packed the rest of everything else so then I was a bit like crap where am I going to put this? I guess I can put it in the main section now and in the main section I have a razor of course um, my travel adapter how cute is that? look and I know that it will take longer to charge but I'm, good. I'm only, I'm only going to be charging stuff overnight so I don't think it will matter too much got another one but I am waiting for my mum to get home because I don't know where she can put it. Um, the other thing I've got are these lip balms. How cute are these? They're on little carabiners and um, they're by Trespass and this one's a vanilla one and this one's a mint one so I've got one for me and one for Ruth um, and they're just they've got SPF 30 in them um, and they're just so good. The last time I used a Trespass lip balm I was obsessed with it for like four years so glad I've got another one. The next thing, as I said, I'm still battling through my cold, don't mind me. Uh, then I've got deodorant, I've picked up a little compressed one, because um, then it'll fit in this section. I've 
got some toothpaste. I can't pack my toothbrush until the day, so I can't do that, so I have to wait for that. Then I've got um, some cotton pads to take off excess dirt on my face, um, which means, because I can't pack my cleanser just yet, so I've taken out some cotton pads and left them on my dressing table, and then I can do that later. Um, and then I've got some rhubarb and custard shower gel. It's from Asda. It actually smells like rhubarb, and I love rhubarb. Rhubarb's my favourite smell. Um, and then the last two things in here are Herbal Essences Smooth and Soft Conditioner and Herbal Essences Smooth and Short Soft Shampoo. Um, I like that one. It just smells nice. And I also needed a little, little one to fit in there. Um, and they were just kind of the perfect size. So let's see if I can get all this back in here. Easy peasy. Uh, and then, oh yeah, my, I've got underwear <laughs> and regular socks but like my regular shoes. Um, buried underneath that. So that's it for my main suitcase. The other things that I need to pack are makeup, cleanser, hairbrush, my boots which I'm taking to the airport, toothbrush, glasses and contact lenses. Um, I can't do that until the night before for obvious reasons. Headphones which I like to take to work with me so I'm not, um, not packing them until the day. Phone charger, obvious one. Camera, obvious one. Battery charger, obvious one. <laughs> uh, straighteners. My mum's got some GHDs downstairs I could use, but I like to use mine and like the lights better in here. So, um, and then my passport, my EHIC, my travel insurance, plane tickets, and money, which I have in my hand luggage, which is this bag that I've had for about nine million years. I used to take it to school with me. That's how old it is. Okay. So in here I've got all my travel documents um, for when we go. I've got our travel insurance, I've got our, um, our, our like protection if anything gets cancelled while we're out there. Um, my passport was in here and then I had a panic attack this morning because I couldn't find it. And mum was like, I've got it, I photocopied it this morning just in case you lose it. Thanks for telling me mum, I told you I was going to pack my suitcase today. Uh, so that's that. And then. Um, I've got an empty water bottle because I'm going to take one with me and obviously you're not allowed to take liquids on the flight. Like you can't put them through, ha I don't know, it's confusing the rule. Um, and so that's that. And then the other thing in the front of my hand luggage is my money and credit card, which I'm taking in this cute little purse. Isn't it adorable? Believe it or not, it's made out of duct tape. So the girl that I'm going on holiday with, um, she made this out of duct tape and like it's even got like a little pocket bit so I've got all my euros in the top bit and I've got some English money for the airport just in case I want to get a magazine or something for the flight because um, it's a two and a half hour transfer after we get off the flight so that's like three and a half hours of travelling. Uh, so yep I'm taking that one with me because I don't want to take my massive purse because it is massive and the other two things that I'm taking with me are my sunglasses. Who can pass up an opportunity to wear sunglasses? So I've got these ones which I got from River Island, I think. How cute are these? They're gonna match everything. And the other thing, other pair I'm taking with me, I did debate taking these ones, but um, half of it's like chipped off now, and these are from Florida, so I kind of don't want to take them. I'm a bit protective over them. Um, so I'm gonna take some bright pink ones instead. So um, that's exciting. So they are going in the front because then I won't, they, like, I will be able to keep them safe and not have them smashed around in my suitcase. And the last thing in my hand luggage is my ski jacket because it's so fat that I am petrified it's going to tip the scales when we go to, um, when we go check in our luggage. So I'll take it out for you, you guys can see it. Um, it's from Mountain Warehouse. And I had a bit of a palaver with them actually because um, I bought it and I didn't realise it had pockets underneath the front pockets. How clever is that? So you've got pockets here and then you've also got like a pocket here to slide your hand into when you get cold. And um, I was like, oh that's so cool! And then I realised the zip was broken so I went back in and I was like, I'm sorry but I bought this coat and um, it was the only one you had and I'm really sorry but the zip's broken. Is there anything you can do for me? And he said, I'll get you a new one. That's the home phone. <laughs> Is it done? Uh, so he said, I will get you a new one. I'll order one offline for you and I'll also give you half of your money back. 
to apologise for the inconvenience. So that was really, really sweet of him. So um, I've got this coat and I really love it. It's so comfy and really warm and it's got like 900 pockets. Um, and it's even got one for like headphones. So um, you can put your iPhone, iPod, whatever, um, and then loop it back through your headphones to stick out the top and then you can actually wear them. I think that's like the deal with most coats, most ski jackets anyway, this, these in this day and age. Um, but I just thought it was a really cool feature and also it's got a fluffy hood and all of my coats have fluffy hoods so I was very happy about that. So that is it for my what's in my suitcase. I hope you kind of enjoyed this and uh, I'm guessing a sneak peek into what I'm going to take with me. I literally packed this about 20 minutes ago <laughs> so um, yeah I hope you enjoyed this if you did don't forget you can subscribe and catch my vlogging next week when I get back I get back on Saturday the 28th of March so you'll probably get some vlogs the following week it'll probably go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday um, about what we did and what we got up to I'm so excited to do it um, and yeah and also you can press the like button if you liked anything that I've got in my suitcase also I forgot to tell you, I dyed my hair again because Emma was like, oh, your hair's gone green. I was like, oh, thank you. So I had to dye it again. Um, and now it's gone brown, <laughs> which I'm just not happy about even slightly. I am meant to be a blonde, okay? I'm just meant to be. So, um, yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys next week in some vlogs. How exciting. Okay, see you soon.